Good morning, everyone. Amy Conley here with United Way of Door County. Today, my guest is Kayla Henderson. Kayla, do you want to introduce yourself to everyone? Sure. So uh, like Amy had mentioned, I am Kayla Henderson. I am an employment specialist here at We Are Hope. And I have been with We Are Hope since March of 2021. Wonderful. So kind of short term, but I bet you have a lot of knowledge to share with us. <laughs> So today we're going to talk about the Moving Forward program at We Are Hope. Can you tell us a little bit about that program? Definitely. So the Moving Forward program um, works with individuals who have both past and present criminal backgrounds. Um, we, help to insist, or we help to assist the individuals find and maintain secure employment. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> but I silenced it, but... So no worries. We help to uh, find and main, them find and maintain employment in our community um, by doing interview preparation, creating their resume, creating cover letters, and just basically career building activities. Okay. So you mentioned um, criminal activity. So folks who might be in our Door County Jail as well. Yep, so we do work with the Door County Jail through their Operation Fresh Start, and we're the employment piece of that program. So okay. we help those who are incarcerated find, find employment before they are released. Okay, so folks who might be out on Huber or mm -hmm. those who maybe aren't eligible for Huber, but they're going to be released in a few months. So help them get a resume, understand the job skills that they have and how they can mm -hmm. better sell themselves. Yeah, definitely, definitely. We work with their soft skills so that okay. they are more integrated with the community and everything. Um, we also work with Door County prob Probation and Parole. They send referrals over to us uh, for individuals that they work with that feel like uh, they could benefit from our program. So I'll reach out to them and kind of get the ball rolling with whoever they send over. So Good. Good. So, um, so these services are right at We Are Hope, and We Are Hope is located where, Kayla? Uh, right in the Cherry Point Mall. So okay. We're right in, I guess you could call them the main doors. If you just yeah. walk straight in, you can't miss us. Okay. Yeah, I always say where those two buildings meet, there's that double doorway there, and that's where okay. folks can go in. Um, what are your hours, Kayla? Currently, we're open Monday through Thursday, 10 to 3. Okay, so if someone's listening and they have a friend or family member who's currently in the Door County Jail and wants just more information on this program, do they get that through the jail or do they get that by contacting you? So they can either get it through the jail or through contacting us. Um, okay. We're also, this program is open to the public. So okay. if, they, if they would like, they can come into the job center and uh, feel free to disclose and then I can... I can gladly work with them. Wonderful. So yeah, if somebody maybe has that felony on their mm -hmm. record and is having a hard time finding a job because people see that and go, oh, I'm not so sure, um, this would be a great resource as well for them. Oh, definitely. Yeah, okay. definitely. Wonderful. Well, that is great. And we are so happy to have this service. Kayla, what's the phone number over there if people want to give you a call? Sure. So our phone number is 920-743-7273. Wonderful. So as our listeners, viewers know, um, we've been talking about ALICE, Asset Limited Income Constrained Employed. And um, definitely this is something that uh, hits for the population that you serve with the Moving Forward program over there because we want, we want people to be employed and gainfully employed um, so that hopefully they don't go back to their criminal life. Um, mm -hmm. So what are some advantages you see when we think about this program for that population that we consider Alice? So this population has, they have a lot of limitations when it comes to employment and progressing in the employment field. So by going through this program, we're able to help them assist, um, assist them with assessing their careers and kind of figuring out where they best fit within a, within a, a job and helping them be able to progress and move forward and open new doors for employment for them. So. Wonderful. Is there any charge for your services, Kayla? No, no charge at all. 
Okay. So that's good to know too, because mm -hmm. if you know someone's struggling to make ends meet, the last thing we need is, oh, thanks for coming in our doors. And that's going to oh, cost right. you $20 or whatever. Yeah. No, yeah. no charge at all. Okay. And I know I covered this when I talked to Kim about the Employment Resource Center, but just a reminder. So if folks are coming to you and don't have computer skills, um, you can, you're there to help them with that as well, right? Yep. And we do have computers that are provided for the public. So okay. you can feel free to use them for their employment search or any career building activities that might help them. Wonderful, because yeah, I know for many people, if they've had a job in, say, manufacturing and haven't had to use that computer, um, but now are looking in a different career field, that might be a barrier. So letting Definitely. them know you're there for that and all those other skills that you guys can help them learn along the way. Well, Kayla, thank you so much for all you do. Um, I know you work with a, a very specific set of people, but it's very important. So thank you for everything that you do. Thank you, Amy. All right. We'll see everybody later. Take care. Bye-bye.